How does, how does a condition stop you walking straight, but you can walk backwards, you can walk up and down stairs, you can do a number of things when you don't think about it. You know what inspires me, Keith, every time we come? This, this mural with Jamie Carragher. What a player he could have been for, but why did we miss out on people like that? So a nice motor, anyway. Thanks. This, a, goal, this a goal scoring bonus, you'll agree, with the club. Mm -hmm. oh, fabulous, nice smooth ride. Ah, oh, well, let's go and do a little look at that, Keith. Hey John, let's go and play some football. Right, let's go and do it. Can you get the lights, big man? Okay. I'll do the hard part. Oh, Parkinson's. What a mystery. My name's John Roach and I'm co-founder and chairman of Northern Lights, Parkinson's support group. Um, I've diagnosed with Parkinson's 12 years ago. So I'm well down the chain, I've seen most of the symptoms, experienced most of them. It's an ever-changing landscape. Um, it's a, a neuro condition for which there is no cure at the moment. We're optimistic and, and whenever it comes, it can only be a good thing. Walking football has transformed my life. Um, I'd given up playing football and I found that when I'm with a ball, the symptoms disappear. So I thought this can't be unique to me. So I enlisted some friends and we put a game together. And at first, there was a lot of doubt and a lot of concern from partners about falls and whatever. But we all found that when we get the ball at our feet, we're transformed. Your confidence is back, your body shapes back, your balance, your, your sense of worth. It's as though your body recognises comfort, no pressure. We can we can do whatever we're mobile. I can I can moan as much as I normally do. I can play football like I did 20 years ago. Not that it's not that it's a good thing in walking football, but I can run. I can jog. I can play a proper game of football. And in half an hour. When I stop playing, my system will wind down and eventually the dopamine that's produced by whatever happens in this game will sustain me for the next period. Come on, Mick. In and out. Come on, Mick. In and out. In and out. My name is Keith Johnson and uh, we are in the Brunswick Club in uh, the heart of Bootle in Liverpool. I do some coaching with the Parkinson's Northern Lights team um, and we, we do this once a week every Friday. These people wake up every morning and they've got a personal battle with their own body and that involves their families as well and so for them to be able to come and share the occasion with them is, a, is a massive and, and the, the biggest buzz I get at the end of the session when the guys come up tell me they've enjoyed it, they've had a great day. We'll sit down, we have a coffee, we have a chat and a laugh and a joke. And, and for two, three hours of the day, we forget about Parkinson's. See you, Robbie. Take care, buddy. Cheers, mate. My name is Keith McIndoe and I've been in, involved with Northern Lights for about three, four years now. Well, I was diagnosed in 2013 and I was 34 years old so I was quite young when I was diagnosed and it came as a bit of a shock and it's a great chance for all of us people with Parkinson's to get together. Have a, have a good kick about it. Well, 
it's helped me with my confidence. Being a, uh, making the friends with other people who have got Parkinson's, and uh, it's really good for the social side of things as well. So my name is Stu Carrington. I'm uh, the inclusion officer for Liverpool County Football Association. I am also the uh, the England Parkinson's Walking Football Manager. I first got involved with Northern Lights uh, approximately two years ago when I got introduced to, to John Roach and Keith. Uh, come down to the sessions here at the Brunswick, after then we've connected, got a strong bond and the football and sessions and the community has gone from strength to strength. Give them a football and it changes their lives. They just become normal footballers when they get on that football pitch as well. The camaraderie is second to none, exactly the same as able-bodied players, but these guys are special. Without the support from People's Ford, it wouldn't be possible for these guys to have as much fun as I know they're going to have when they go there. Because they're going to be able to take the support workers, they're going to be able to take family members who, who are with them every day and every inch of this battle that they have. The impact of getting the family involved and the close friends is immeasurable. The fact that they come and see you at your best when they've probably seen you at your worst a couple of hours earlier. It's a massive confidence boost and it gives them back the person that they've loved. Uh, I'm feeling excited and, and confident that we, 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 we can do quite well and maybe even win it. Basically, to the medium of football, showing people how to live with Parkinson's um, around the country.